Now, it is getting warmer. High confidence. We are raising CO2. How do we link the two? You know, in the time it's been getting warmer, my hair has been falling out. So it's just the gleam off of my bald spot, right? How do we know that the warming comes from the CO2? Well, the first thing is the physics. We just don't know how it can't. You sit there in the satellite and you look down and the CO2 is blocking the radiation. We don't know how the CO2 could possibly not do this. It's physics. It's sort of taken 30 years and a few billion dollars. The satellites are not dirt cheap. But to find out whether anything else could be pushing. If you want to know whether the sun's getting brighter or not, you need to sit above the clouds and you need to watch the sun for long enough to tell. And so now we've got 30 years of watching the sun. If anything, it got a little bit dimmer. It didn't get brighter. And the cosmic rays aren't doing anything and the heat's going into the ocean. It's not coming out. And so, so you go and say, is there any possibility that there's anything else doing this? And the answer is no, we can't find anything else. And then you say, well, let's check it again. Suppose you don't believe the satellites. You say it's the sun. Well, the sun makes it warm down here, but it makes it warm way up at the top of the stratosphere. CO2 makes it warm down here, but it makes it cold up at the top of the stratosphere. Sun warm, warm. CO2 warm, cool. What's happening? Warm, cool. The fingerprint is CO2. We can do this in time as well as in space. So shown here, 1860 up to 2000. This has been updated. It is continuing. The red is the global average surface temperature, jumps and bumps and wiggles, and a general upward trend. The gray is what nature did. 100 years ago, it is cold because the sun's a little dim and the volcanoes are blocking it a lot. A little warming because the sun brightened and the volcanoes quit blocking it. Sometimes sun and volcanoes don't you know, sometimes they're together, sometimes they're apart, it's random, okay? You'll notice recently, if anything, nature has tried to make it colder. Up there, upper left, gray is nature. If anything, trying to make it a little colder, but it's gotten a lot warmer. People keep asking, how much of the warming is due to human CO2? It's more than all of it is the best answer. Um, because if anything, nature has tried to make it colder, and we tried to make it colder by blocking the sun with particles from our smokestacks doing the volcano job. And right after World War II, we crank up industry. CO2 starts to rise. Particles rise. We're blocking the sun. And that seems to have contributed to that plateau right there that I was born in. Reese, this down here, the red curve is what happened. The gray curve is what a model thinks happened from nature and us. And you'll notice they agree. The pattern is now us. It used to be mostly nature. It's now mostly us. High scientific confidence.